Halloween is over and you're sitting and looking at all that candy and wondering what to do, well, Natasha Hill is here with us a few mix to make us a few mixes. I just drooled on myself when I saw the candy there. I'm sorry, Natasha. <laughs> I, I was fine. like, mm, candy and alcohol there as we're mixing the cocktails together. Uh, I don't alone. know if anybody caught that, but uh, <laughs> you know, started mouth start watering, started talking. But actually, Natasha from Santan, how are you doing? I'm wonderful. How are you? So we love when you come in because you always got some great cocktail ideas, but. Now you have ideas for all that candy that's sitting around yeah, all that to make some yummy stuff. drinks and very easy to do. Very, very simple. Um, the first one we have here is a candy corn shot. So all that leftover candy corn, instead of just eating it out of the bag, cook it down, add some water, make a simple syrup out of it. Ooh. Um, so feel free. Go ahead. So start with your vodka and okay. pour that. So we're just going to make and pour this in here? Yeah, pour it right on in. All of it? All of it. That little glass is going to take all this? It will, believe it or not. Oh my goodness. Look and then that. your candy corn simple syrup right on top. All right, and just... All of it? Right on in, it'll mix together. That is, wow. As it sits, it should separate because the sugar's a little bit heavier. Uh -huh. um, but then you take it just like that. And that's just a little shot. And the vodka we used was the uh, this one right here, right? St. Anne's handcrafted traditional vodka, yes. So this is awesome, and it's made right there. In the, Amazing, yeah, in, right in downtown. I love it, downtown um, um, Chandler. Absolutely. Right? Is that yeah. where it is? Mm -hmm. So very cool. Okay, we got that one. That's with the candy corn. So another way, what we like to do is fat wash. So I use Reese's Pieces and bourbon. What's it called? Fat washing it. What's fat washing? So you want the oils and the, the fattiness and all the stuff that holds the candy together to give you the flavor profiles, but also separate. So the Ooh. liquor and the, the candy will separate. So it looks kind of yucky and mucky. So we just got rid of the fat yeah, of the candy. Yeah, but we hold on to the it. flavor. Right, so we got rid of it. So this is going to be very something we could put on our diet. Yeah, oh, <laughs> there's still a lot of sugar in there. Um, but so this is, it retains all of the peanut butter flavor with the bourbon to make a peanut butter bourbon out with those Reese's pieces. Nice, and so. Um, Take that. Why don't you pour okay, it in and do there. the same thing. Pour yeah, it in same here. thing. All right. And this is what are we using here? What is that? That's is that just the? That's the bourbon that's infused. That what bourbon is that one? Uh, the Santan the Sacred Santan? Stave. Ooh, yeah, bourbon, right ninety proof. No, wow. Okay, I'm a big bourbon proof. Okay, so then delicious. We got that. Then what do we do? Uh, we mix some caramello and chocolate to make a peanut butter chocolate. And that's just melted this down. Mm -hmm. And just yep. put it all in there. Put so, it right in wow. together. So. And? Top it with your coffee. And just with some, ooh, those in the morning, so. Reese's peanut butter cup coffee. So, there, and pour it all in there? Yep. Look how this is all mixed up perfectly. Look I at that. It up. And then and we did, it. you did not, so. um, have a little Reese's peanut butter cup garnish for you. Nice, ooh. Um, and then this one's a little, a little bit more. A peppermint one. A little so bit. There, it's a good, okay. This one I get to do some mixing. You do, okay. okay so, so what are we doing? This one, the base is Jolly Rancher infused gin. So ooh. I use the blue raspberry and the cherry to okay. put them together and kind of macerate it. So melt the, not melt it down, but all of the sugars disintegrate into the gin, which is really great. So first start with your gin. Okay, so this is my gin. Pour That's it into our, this one. The small one. Oh, the small one? Okay. And then the next one is a mix of pomegranate and blackberry to make your sweet side. Okay. The next one is lemon juice and lime juice to make... Lemon juice and... Oops, sorry. I put that in there. To make your sour side. Okay. And then an egg white. And the egg white? Yes. Why the egg white? It makes it super creamy and frothy and aerates the cocktail really well. Nice. And then... Yeah, put your tin right on top. Put tin on top. Mm -hmm. Like that? Yep. Flip it over. Flip Both it. Both hands. Both hands. Shake. Like that? Yep. You got it. <laughs> All right, we got one minute to finish up until we're shaking it. How long do you shake it for? So we kind of did some TV magic here. Did so it? you okay. would then remove the ice and just shake all the ingredients without the ice uh -huh. to add some extra froth to it. All right. I did that for you. I did hope you, you don't mind. Right? No, please do. And then pour it ice. right in. Look at that. That looks so delicious. There we go. Are these on the menu at uh, Santan? They are on our menu, but they can always be made. Absolutely. So they are made. Mm -hmm. Tell them where they can find out more about, of course, the uh, the wonderful uh, spirits and, of course, wonderful beer and everything you guys have. You can do a couple different things. You can go to our brew pub in downtown Chandler and hang out at the restaurant. And right behind it, tucked away, is our spirit house, and that's all the craft side. Or you're welcome to do a brewery tour or go to our tasting room um, off Warner Road between Arizona and McQueen. And I'm recommending that as a great holiday gift if you're looking for something for someone. So. Perfect. There we go. Garnish it and all ready to go. Thank Cheers. you, Natasha. You're very Thank welcome. I'll try to make sure I don't drool anymore over the. Now you can drink them. There we go. All right. <laughs>